Hi everybody. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to play Menagerie for the very first time on the Lazy Susan. Uh, for the occasion, I uh, took a couple of pictures and uh, took a video and shared that on uh, social media. I got some great reviews, but I actually got a special request. Um, I was asked to actually share uh, some of the uh, artifacts and uh, different knickknacks that I've added into uh, the presentation. The reason I do that is just to indulge you more into the game um, and it makes it special, right? So um, I'm gonna share that with you guys. So let's take a look. The first thing we have here is the player's bag. Inside, you have everything you need to start any Dominion game. We'll go over next what's inside of the bag, but basically um, you just pick the color you want and you're ready to start playing. In your own player's bag, you'll be set to start any Dominion game. You'll find inside every map possible, seven coppers, the shelters, three estates, seven Arlands. You'll also find a smaller bag containing all your tokens, the two cubes for the project from Renaissance, extra cubes here representing each Gatekeeper, Swamp Hag, and Hunted Wood. This is an idea coming from Dominion Online. Basically, when your opponent would play one of these attacks, you would take your cube, put it in front of you, as long as the attack is in effect. You'll have a coffer for Baker, a pig's head coming from Enchantress. So again, uh, when one of your action would be affected by Enchantress, you would put the pig's head on that action. And lastly, you would, this is the latest one, Seas of the Day. It's a message in a bottle. Uh, whenever Seas of the Day is in play, uh, all players put their bottle in front of it. If you do go ahead and buy it, you take your message. Finally, I have the items I incorporated into Dominion. I did this for a, um, for their presence and also just for a deeper, again, a deeper experience. Uh, starting with the trash, I got this skull here. Uh, I just find it cool. Uh, next, I have the obelisk. Uh, I got a uh, mini obelisk that, that goes on top of that uh, the obelisk action pile. Next, I have travelers. The travelers are on a card display, a four row uh, card display. Um, I just find it easy and it's clean on the Lazy Susan whenever the Travelers are uh, being played. Next I have Farmer's Market. I, this is homemade. I made this for uh, the gathering cards. Um, so basically the victory cards go on the cartwheel in the back. Um, so that would be the market, the, the Farmer's Market. The next gathering that I have is Temple. This is the actual Temple. I put a couple of victory cards in it. Uh, not victory cards, victory tokens. Um, so, and then the last gathering cards is Wild Hunt. So I got this Wild Hunt and the victory cards go on top of it. Over here, I have uh, Lost in the Wood. It's an actual tree, uh, so when whenever you're able to take Lost in the Wood, uh, yeah, well, you actually take the tree. The next one that I have here is uh, this is the the treasure chest from um, Swash Buckler. Uh, just opening it here like this, and yeah, again, it's an artifact. You take it. Um, and the, the actual card is inside the treasure chest. Over here uh, is Border Guard. Border Guard has two artifacts, um, the horn and the lantern. Uh, well, I'm not too sure what happened here. It's supposed to be covered. But anyway, again, uh, two artifacts over here. And... Over here we have the key from Treasure Chest. And finally, the flag. Uh, it's an actual flag. So, there you go.
those are my artifacts. Thank you for watching.